Thank you for stopping by. This is Truth Goddess Theroux, 777. Hello, today's read is for Sagittarius. Just for Sag. Sag, please like, share, and comment on the videos. I appreciate the support. All right, let's begin. Sagittarius. The bottom of this deck shows happy, happy, happy. So, you guys are feeling fantastic. Whoa. Yeah. And your chakras are balanced. Whoa. Drop, jump right out, Sag. So, me, you, hmm. Spirit is saying you're feeling very good, me. And I work to balance my chakra. So you're balanced. So you're feeling very, very good. But there's somebody in this energy that's very cunning. Spirit is saying that this is a person that has hidden motives. Somebody has hidden motive, motives. They're very cunning. Oh, wow. And this keeps coming up. Somebody feels that uh, if you're a male or a female, you have good Tussie. Hmm. So we know that somebody is focused on being overstimulated sexually. Because again, if you're a female, they feel you have good cat. And if you're a male, they feel you have great, a nice one. More than likely because you're a chosen one. Chosen ones, male or female, you again you are a, you are a healer so you definitely would have good cat as well as a male you me so you're in this energy in which you're balanced right i don't conform to rights but again we have this other person divine you okay some of you, maybe, not all of you, conform to doing what's right. You. And then there's somebody that's a thief. So there's somebody who does not conform to doing things the proper way. Right here. Right? Now, you are a divine, or there will be a divine union. Two, two, two. Right? Oh, wow. Death. There's going to be a physical death of someone. Wow. This is a person who was very foolish. This person is a energy vampire, male or female. Oh, wow. The devil, Capricorn. This is somebody that's in that Saturn energy. Capricorn. They're a, they are a Capricorn or have it in their chart. This is a person that was heartbroken. This could be you that's no longer heartbroken from this person that was very um, dark and sinister. They are an energy vampire. As I was saying, so spirit is basically telling you, and there's a closing and ending, a physical death. It says here, a physical death. So this demon, this person that's a Capricorn, this person that's very foolish, this is a person who definitely try to break your heart or maybe have but you've healed from this broken heart with this person this is why this person is very low vibrational and they have hidden motives because when you are a chosen one as i stated you have energy that heals those that are of the darker energy they are dark so people that or that vibrate in that saturn energy these are people that need the energy of a chosen one. And because you are a chosen one, you are light. You, are, you have a light body in which people, you're connected to ancestors, angels. You're connected to the most high. So you have a healing spirit. That's the truth, male or female. So this person is, there's somebody that's looking to come to you because the secret is, this person definitely has hidden motives. This person does not, okay. With the high, 
the Hierophant, this is a person that, that refuses to conform to do the right thing. So they live unconventional. They break rules. They don't follow structure. This person is a thief. They lie. They're not covered by the divine. This person, a legacy of toxicity. You do not have that. This person does. So, and they're very low vibrational. So it's like this person, this person, this male or female is a short man or woman. This person knows that you have psychic abilities. Their intuition is blocked. This person, again, this is, sounds like a sexual thing. Uh, you or this person may be, have um, tendencies to go both ways. As a female, you would be considered according to the card. And this person may be your um, twin flame. So this person is pulling or needing to pull from your energy. This is why this person has hidden hidden motives. This is what there's this person regrets some kind of way finding humor in something they must have done to you because you are the high priestess. Again, you have mysteries. This person may have been your boyfriend or girlfriend or you know somebody that you dated. We'll just say that. But there was a new person in this person's life or yours. But this person, oh, this person gets crunk and high. Okay. So as a high priestess, you're a person that has the connection to a higher pow power. You've, you're very um, gifted and powerful and determined. So you're an alchemist. As the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups is also this very intuitive. That's a healer, a supportive counselor. And so being that you're in this Queen of Cups energy, this is what I say. This person is looking for sexual healing, whether you are whether you are a male or a female. This person has hidden motives, so they want to sap your energy. And again, this person is a twin flame of yours. So a twin flame is somebody like, but your energy is high. You're happy, happy. This person is not. This person is looking for like a re-up. Like this person is like physically addicted to substance, sex, everything. And this is a message in a bottle. So there's something or somebody wanting to speak to you here and now. Here and now. So this person, again, this is a person that's a twin flame of yours. For some of you, not all of you. Take what resonates. The fact is, as, as I stated, there's a death. There's an ending to a cycle. There's a physical death. We already showed y'all that card. There's a physical death with somebody. Somebody that was very pretentious. This is a, someone that no longer can be in that energy anymore. Um, this person has to surrender to a death. An ending of a cycle. Which is the cycle that ends with having a connection with you, and also a physical de death, divine union. See, this person, okay, yeah, this person was a twin flame or is a twin flame. There was supposed to be a union between you and this person. But because this person had lived a lifestyle, you and that person, you were to live a connection to um, bring you two together it was a divine union. Yeah, twin flames. You and this person. But this person straight off. So this person lived an unconformed way, okay? Their, their abilities were blocked. They lost their psychic connections and their gifts because this person had secrets, hidden motives, and the, this is this what this person regrets. So this person lost a lot of hope and they regret being indecisive. You were their twin. This person is now in this energy in which they would like to grow with you because you were growing while this person was not. If this is a this is a twin of a twin of yours. Um, oh my goodness. Says this is a part this this twin, this per person is very 
um, having a lot of, I'm telling y'all, freedom. This person is looking to free themselves. You may have freed yourself from your twin, 1010. So you did free yourself from this twin. Once you released yourself and surrendered and let this person go, at this point, your self-esteem shot up as well as allowing you to be happy and to have a sense of happiness. This person in your life was someone who went the opposite direction. This was a person who refused to try to grow, um, but instead they had hidden motives in which they're now lonely. So this person is sitting alone. They're isolated. They've allowed themselves to lose the powers that they had when they chose to live a unconventional life. They no longer had any growth. We also see here, so this person is trying to steal from you, physical, energy, and sexual energy, 1111. This person is trying to steal your energy, go to distance. So it's like this person, let's see, this person went the distance in a third party connection in which they were flexible. So as I stated, this was a person who lived an unconventional lifestyle. Now this person is in this energy said in which they can no longer build blocks, build a connection, build with you in reverse. This person never tried to build a connection with you or try to build to create happiness with you. They were flexible. This is a person who, again, who did not conform to doing or living a lifestyle that would avoid them death, a physical death. And I keep saying that. That would also um, afford this person of not having their heart broken. This person, again, was a fool. Now, there's something that happened in the summer or will happen in the summer or has happened in the summer. So, but this person, uh, there was a divorce. There was a divorce. So again, the energy is speaking, stating that you being this nurturer, this supporter, this healer, having, you are the high priestess or priest, and you're a magician, and you're a queen of cups. So you have all this power. You have such strength, dexterity. You are an alchemist. So you can basically cleanse a person's energy through intimacy. You have that ability to do that because you're a magician. A magician is an alchemist. A queen of cups or a king of cups is a counselor, somebody that is, you know, provides support. You're emotionally stable. You're very intuitive. You have a lot of compassion. So you have the insight, the heart to heal a person in the physical as well as in the spiritual. As a high priestess, you're able to do that because you're connected to a higher higher power. You have the, the inner knowings, the hidden talent to reverse a person's physical. Um, you have the, the ability to reverse and remove dark entities and energies off of a person. That's if you choose to do so. And I feel like this person being your twin, they know that. So this is why there is a person in your energy that is hoping and praying. This is why they feel attached to you because they're your twin. Hmm. So something is occurring in the springtime as well as the summertime. So the springtime is Taurus. Aries, Leo, and the end of August is Virgo. So, yeah, a man holding a horse. So now you have, this is a person that, Leo, angel of strength. You have such strength and power. This is why this person is still attached to you. They know that if they were to connect to you because you are high vibrational, that you could heal this person. This person needs um, a cleansing, a deep cleansing. 
and they know they would be able to get that through you. So their blessings actually come through you. Yeah, they, that's what this is. So let's see what else that you need to know, Sag. Yeah, this is a bit different, but this is the energy, and this is what spirit needs you to know, Sag. Let's see what else that you need to know. So, Sagittarius, understand that understand that being that you have the psychic abilities within you you have the energies that would clear up a person's I almost want to say their debt but that's something this person has to go through they have to go through mm -hmm. this person was deliberate in their intent to choose the lifestyle that they did. Now this is a person who wants you. Again, a chosen one is a black sheep, okay? You're a, somebody that's a black sheep. Spirit is saying, hell no. So this person is looking to reunite with you within three months. And yes, you will be ready. So within three months, there's something that's happening. Oh wealthy man so within three months some of you not all of you will meet someone that is of a higher status and i love my life as i stated you love your life you are balanced you the color pink is a female but has the energy of that's a male i mean a female the pink color references to a woman and the light energy and balance and stability. So yeah, you love your life. You have balance. You are a powerful manifester. And this person, somebody is going to be trustworthy. So there's somebody that's coming in your life. And yes, you will be ready. This mature woman or man. But there's another energy of someone that's a black sheep. This could be you or somebody else. But most... Chosen ones or black sheep. I met, okay. So let's see what else. Tell us what else is it that Sag needs to know. What else does Sag see? So Sagittarius, basically, the energies are stating that, unfortunately, there's someone that's going to have to, sur to surrender to an ego death. This is a person who was driven by their ego, all right? And this is a person that was doing work. What else does spirit, what else does Saz need to know? Uh, yeah, they were doing work on you, but your ancestors and angels were protecting you because you have balance, you have hidden knowledge and mysteries. So this person was performing, man, um, this person was performing some sort of work on you, all type of work on you, because you love your life and you are balanced. You have an angel here protecting you as this person was performing work on their twin. Yeah. But see, because you are an angel yourself, you were able to block the spell work that this person was performing on you. And this person, okay. Spirit is just saying, yeah, this person was doing work to cause a physical death of, huh. This person was performing work to dispel death on you, but they had to surrender. So this is why this person's self-esteem has been affected because you remain to be happy. Wow, Sag. <laughs> yep. See, but the thing is, yeah, this is what they invested in. This person put money, time, and energy to try to harm their twin and to have you lose your job, your home, your family. They invested in trying to harm a chosen one. It, yep, but you're such a powerful manifester. So the thing is, you were able to take action to block, to return back these 
spells that this person was performing on you. They were performing death spells, love spells, come back to me spells. Yeah. And the thing is, you're successful. You're a star. That's the truth, what I'm saying. You are balanced. You have... Um, you're being seen. This person see knows that you're still successful. You are able to overcome and have a breakthrough from this person's spell work. Yeah. So now this person sees that the work that they've done has been basically returned back to them because you had a breakthrough as a high priest or priestess. You were protected by angels that were also giving you downloads as to when and how and what to do to remove these dark energies from around you. See, th this is an Aquarius. Okay, so being that the Aquarius is the energy that starts new ideas, new projects, and you were able to push through this magic being performed on you and still become successful and be seen. Yeah. So they were trying to defeat you. You were able to defeat the, the spell work, the magic. Um, and also keep in your balance when it comes to love. So this person was trying, <clears throat> if you, wow. <clears throat> so yeah, this person does, doesn't want me to speak this all of a sudden my throat. Oh, wow. So yeah, this person was trying to defeat you. This is why they're getting judgment. This person sees that the work that they were performing on you is allowing them to reevaluate, to understand. It's like this person was pretty ignorant that they were dealing with a chosen one and that they're now begging for their ancestors to reevaluate, re to save them. So they're asking to be saved for what they were trying to do to you, but no, that won't happen. So they have to surrender. This person was driven by ego. They were driven by their self-esteem. Their self-esteem was very low. So they were going to gaslight you. But it didn't happen. So this person was trying to gaslight you. And if they are still in this energy to do that, I feel like they will or has trying to offer love, but it it didn't come to fruition because they're having sleepless nights. As this person was doing that, offering love to someone else to cause you sleepless nights and to steal, to lie, to cheat, and to steal and rob and take your blessings. So it's like, remember the wealthy man and the wealthy woman is out here. So it's like this person was trying to offer love to others to affect your insight, your love for love for life, love, and other relationships. They were trying to affect your happiness. This person was trying to affect your ego, your self-esteem, and your happiness when they began to offer love to others wanting to have you in your feelings they wanted to steal your time your energy but see the thing is you were able to listen to your higher power within you and spirit is saying that you're going to receive this big blessing and refuse this person so it's like this person again was just trying to cause this illusion in your life, but they didn't realize how powerful you were. They didn't see that you were very keen, very structured, very honest. So they wanted to come back and have a connection, a sexual connection with you. This is what this person wants to do. And that reason why they want to do it is to control you. So if you have a connection with a person, and this person had third party connections, connections in which they lost their power, yeah, they connected with people um, hoping to control them through, se through sex. This is a person that you're going to tell the truth that you have no interest in their connections and you see through their illusions. So this person was patiently waiting for you to come back. So this was a charmer. This was a, yeah, this person was a charmer. 
says that's what this person is but they're they're impoverished this person possibly married somebody and lost a lot of money so when they ran off with you this person lost money and their big blessing so the whole time they were playing mind hit games um playing sex favors or doing sex favors for others um they weren't trusting you they should have been trusting you but they were trusting somebody else so that's that says this is really something else this person lost a lot they're hit they had again they had a lot of secrets they had a lot of hidden motives and now this person here's obsession okay this person was trying to have you obsessed with them but you're no longer obsessed with this person's passion or sexual connection this person is an extremist so they do everything to the extremes so the, again this person is very childish now they see you as a gift so spirit is telling you because this person blocked their own pathway to the gift which was you due to them being childish this person is suffering a a death to the ego and now this person and they were trying yeah they were trying to block your work they were trying to block your success. They wanted to keep you impoverished, mature woman or man. They wanted to have you broke. But the, your ancestors and angels are blessing you, and that is the concern that this person is having. The fact that you were still able to have strength, confidence, and you were, it's like you were hidden. This person didn't know who you were, I'm telling y'all. The spirit gods and angels hid you sorrow over a loss this person is sorry that they lost you someone will gossip about your secrets see so they talked about you this person possibly lied and said that you weren't who you said you were wish you will wish will not be granted so everything that they were trying to do to you that they spoke about then that happened to you it happened to them you and me so this person was hoping to have all have a physical death with you but it did not happen this is what they talked about their wishes of trying to end you physically and to be sorry over a loss is reverting back to them yeah this is really crazy up oh, the bottom of the deck bad health i told y'all this person's magic in the coffin court. I cannot make it up. I'm telling y'all, this person's life is about to end. Yep. And the fact, yeah, and the fact that they were doing spell work on you to keep you trapped. Uh-huh. Yep. It's paying for it to cause you to lose your money, your health, your wealth. So this is, as I stated, Sag, yeah this person here it is right here and they came out in sequence right here death in a path the coffin court so they were trying to cause you to lose your money your health your wealth and your life and this is what they spoke about to whoever would listen to them in their community their family, their friends, whomever would listen to this person's plan, their very dark seat, um, the very dark, cynical plan to harm you didn't happen. It reverted right back to them because you're still going to receive great fortune and, uh, and unexpected income. Some of you guys may have been in a again a divorce with this person yeah this main man you may have had a divorce in which there was talk about how they would win in a battle but in fact it turned in in turns in your favor 
Sag. Because you're still going to have this great fortune, money, and marriage. That will be high honor. So, Sagittarius, that's the read. Thank you for stopping by. We're going to have one last card pull to see what else your ancestors and angels have to tell you about the situation. But it seems like there's a numerous um, amount of stories because this person was a crab in a barrel. This person, basically, this person, if they were your twin, they did not want to see you win because they had lost. So because this person did not choose the correct path for success, which was which would have been you as the gift and not being thankful and grateful such as you, they're the ones that will be losing. Yep. And again, here we go. I see you. Huh. This is a person that, again, they see the truth now. They know that you are a can't turn off a work addict. So th they see that you're somebody that's very serious. This person was working very hard with this thought to steal your identity. That's also the thing. This person was addicted to working with this thought to steal your identity. Everything was being seen about what this person was doing. I told you they had hidden motives because they were a liar. That thought was a liar as well. So they got everything the, finesse. They were finesse. Yep, they were finesse. This this thought has multiple babies with multiple fathers. Mechanical, thinking logically and without emotion. So yeah, the person that they went toward, this is how they treated them in the end. So they were working with somebody. Okay, they were working with this thought to try to cause death to you when it came to your work and everything else now this is a person that's one thing is not like the other so there were differences between this person and you although they were your twin for some of you not all of you unresponsive mixed calls and messages left and intrusion so this person is feeling left in the cold so what they want to do the fact that you realize that you guys were too different, you possibly may have moved away from this person, not um, received their calls or accepted any calls. So now this is a person that's trying to force their way back into your life because you have moved on from them. And again, when it comes to this person's health, I'm telling you, they are refusing treatment. And again, this is a person that's dealing with you know, they're very sexually driven and they have a lot of um, obsessions. So that's the read, Sag. I'm going to close out. Thank you guys for stopping by. Bye.